Hey y'all, we back, we back, we back, we back. Yes, we back. Cause we got so much to talk about tonight. Woo, y'all know I don't work eight hours and I, social media just keep just going, going, going. I just keep getting upset. So I come and talk to my family about it so I can go and lay my head down, say my prayers and relax. You know what I'm saying? But I'm so wound up. All this media talk about Cynthia coming back because she heard or she said somebody sent her. Yeah, I'm like, girl, you know, you be on your social media all the time. Ain't nobody sent you nothing or might probably showed it to you. But Cynthia is on her soapbox now because she said somebody sent her uh, a playback of what Nene had said on air when she was at uh, the radio station V103 down here in Atlanta co-hosting. And she's going to be saying, ah, I thought we were in a good place, but I guess not. I said, no, nah, honey, you got that man right there and hopefully he stay in your life till the day you die. Because if you ever be single again, are you going to have any friends, honey? Are you going, what about your friends? Will you stand their ground or will you let them down, Cynthia? Because I'm like, girl, you everywhere. You can't do a decent interview out there. Like Nene say, everybody want to know about housewives from her. When you do your interviews, Kenya, Candy, Marlo, it's always come back to Nene somehow. How's Nene doing? Even if she ain't even on the show and she's still a topic of discussion. Now, you said y'all were good. You said y'all were good. So I would have kept that lie going. That's the Jasmine brand, y'all. Make sure you go over there and participate in some of her videos. She's a real good blogger. Tell her Dale Chanel Sport Ace World Center. Since you on over there. Okay. But yeah. Cynthia is on Daily Pop. I guess all of the housewives are doing their tour presses. And going to each social media outlet. And talking about either not being on the show. Difference of. Uh, what do you call it? Difference of opinion that they're having with previous or former castmates. What they feel about where Housewives of Atlanta franchise is going. And all this kind of stuff. But, honey, this one interviewer on Daily Pop asked her, did she hear about what Nene had to say about her? <laughs> Not about the women. But. Cynthia went on and gave her own little spin on things instead of just bowing out gracefully, knowing Nene is going through some things, and it's no sense to add on more garbage. You see what I'm saying? I love this trash in everybody's eyes, but don't keep feeding the beast, don't keep feeding the fire that you see is roaring out of shape, okay. But no, like I said, ain't none of my business. But as long as it's being quiet, as much as it's being kept quiet, I'm going to speak it out loudly. Because it just don't make no sense. Make it make sense, people. Okay? How many interviews you going to go tit for tat? How many interviews you going to say the same old stuff until something changes and then you have a difference of opinion? See, that's why I say you ain't a rock, Cynthia. You are on shaking foundation because you like the wind. I mean, you're like a, a, what do you call it, a twig in the wind, and it's just blowing you either way, either way. You might snap off and just go on into uh, the wind and in some other destination. You ain't like a rock that's planted. That is unmovable. It will not move. It's going to stand firm in what they believe in, and that's it. Ain't nobody, ain't nothing going to change them from what they feel. So... I'm going to let y'all listen to the audio that I got off of E! News. That uh, it played a little bit of Nene's interview that she had yesterday on the Big Ticker Show in Atlanta here at V103. Then it's going to go into some interview questions to where Cynthia is going to be able to respond to being dissed uh, by Nene. Or, you know, being put on front street by Nene. Uh, and I'm like, what Nene was saying was true. You didn't show up. You didn't show up to a week late. Okay. Didn't come to the repast. Didn't come to the celebration. Didn't get a phone call, text, you know, airmail, however. 
you were incognito. You were like a ghost. All right. Not being seen, heard of anything. So take responsibility. Take accountability. I would have been okay if you would have said, look, I didn't go to Nene's uh, or I didn't go to Greg thing until, or better yet, I didn't want to go where Nene was at the time. We were not on good terms. We still not on good terms. And I didn't want to be the uh, person that bring down the celebration because I just don't like Nene. Uh, Nene gets under my skin. She don't know how to, you know, um, what do you call it? Um, censor some of her words. She don't know how to be, uh, well, know how to be filtered. You know, it's always got to be about her, this, that, and the third. And she don't care about nobody. So, I'm going to remove myself and not go. Period. I'm going to say my prayers for Greg and this, that, and the third. And that's how it's going to be. That's how she could say it. And most people probably still got on her ass about, you know, you just, you know, nothing. Or you, 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 you ain't no real friend. And all this kind of stuff. And it I mean, that's how you felt. That's how you felt. Can't nobody take that from you. Okay, and you can't hold it against you. You just standing firm in what you believe at this time. Not saying you can't change later on down the road. Or you and Nene might not have or may have a coming, what do you call it, a meetings of the mind where y'all know you don't cross this line or you're going to have hell to pay. You know what I'm saying? As long as y'all stay, you know, where the lines have been drawn, uh, everything is cool and kosher. But. It's just like, you don't say what's on your mind. And you don't say what you feel. But when somebody else has something out there, then you got to speak up. You know what I'm saying? And it just seems like an afterthought or after the fact. Like, ugh, but let me let y'all go and listen to it, okay? And then y'all can tell me what y'all feel. But I was just, I was too through. And if I wasn't through with Cynthia, I'm through with her now, okay? Because she's just so wishy-washy. She back and forth. She has no spine. She don't to stand up. That's why she ain't on Real Housewives of Atlanta no more. Then she's going to talk about she left because uh, she wanted to keep her marriage intact. Honey, that show ain't did nothing. It's just bringing out what was needed to be brought out, basically. If you're in a bad marriage, you're in a bad marriage. Don't blame no show or no other people. If you two that are in the relationship and are married can't keep it together, then it's y'all. It wasn't no out, out uh, side forces trying to taint your marriage and real housewives of atlanta sure as hell is not gonna make or break your marriage it's between you two okay get it got it good but here we go she didn't even come to the repast she did come like a week later after everything was done she came by my lounge it's really hard to explain housewives it's almost like a dysfunctional family but they all reached out they all sent flowers or some. Actually, I was surprised because the first set of flowers I got was a bouquet from like all the housewives. Like they went in together. I'm like, why do y'all need to go in together and buy some damn flowers? Like, you know, it's all of y'all work. You don't need to just, let's go in together and buy $200 worth of flowers. Like, you can spend your own $200. Nene was doing a radio Nene, show. I wouldn't spend no $200 on them flowers. I ain't gonna lie to you, but that's just me. What were your first reactions when you saw this? Because I know a lot of people were sending it your way. I was honestly surprised. I actually found out when I left here yesterday. And uh, let me just say this first. I know that Nini is still mourning the loss of her husband. Yes. And you can't tell people how to mourn. However, I do think that, you know, speaking for myself, I came with the best of intentions. I was not able to make it to great celebration, but it was my mission in life to make sure I connected with Nene once I went back to Atlanta. Why and didn't did. you come, and Cynthia? Why the didn't I was you so come? Surprised is because when we did connect, for me, it was even better than even if I had gone to the celebration because I got to spend some real time with her one on one. We'd laugh, we drink, we smoked hookah, we danced. I was like, this is. The way it was supposed to be because i felt like i had at least reconnected with my old friend on on uh, just a respectful level yeah and that's why i was there I, i'm very clear that we're not friends any longer but in the spirit of the beloved greg leeds i wanted to go and sit with my old friend. we don't want to hear that cynthia if, it, if y'all friendship the, um, was over it should have been over okay the stages of anger 
And I think that that is probably And that's Lonnie Love to Trying to tell her That so Nene is just I acting just out Because of her race. grief um, and, uh, and just, Cynthia's you know, still looking I mean, like a nut. People are going to say certain things. People are going to, mm -hmm. you know, make assumptions. You know, you have a right to handle your friendship just like she has a right to handle her friendship. Yeah. And, you know, you could have not said anything. You know, I saw the flowers. The flowers was nice. Right. And, and, and let me just speak on that really quickly. And I agree with what you're saying 100%. And I appreciate you saying that because I really had to think about that. I was like, wait. You know, because at first I was like really hurt because I was like, dang, I thought we had kind of, you know, turned yeah. the corner on this thing. Mm. But I said, wait a minute, this woman just lost her husband. In terms of the flowers, we all came together because we thought like I was going to send flowers. Everybody was going to send flowers. We don't have a problem sending flowers. That was not even the point. And really is almost embarrassing to even address the whole flower the money situation. Thing. But since she put it out there, I'm going to address it. See, okay. she shouldn't have addressed it. Petty, it Cynthia, petty. You know, as a group, as a group to say, hey, we actually took time to come together and try to like figure out this whole flower situation. Uh, Nene don't care about whether y'all come together or not. It was about her grieving, yeah. so not about y'all forging a friendship, oh God, Cynthia. Damn. This out, and Marlo was gracious enough to, you know, take the lead on it. She was like, I'm gonna pick out the best flowers, and y'all know Marlo is over the top. So I was like, these flowers <laughs> right? will be banging. Right? They will be way better than any flowers I was gonna send. So Marlo, you take the flowers. Tell me how much to cash app you. Let's go. She's going to be blown away. And Nene loves flowers. We, yeah. we really, and this was like right when we found out. It was like, we have to do something. So it was like a united front on our part. Who, and b be clear, the people that did th sent those flowers were not, none of us were in a great place with her. But we still wanted to do something because it wasn't about her. It was yeah. about Greg. So why you didn't show up, Cynthia? Why didn't you show up? And I think Dummy. everybody involved. And like you said, you can't tell people how to mourn. And I right. think you're right. Um, and I know your intentions were in the right place. But she still won't good. tell us where that. she was. I think we're good. Yeah, good. we're good. We ain't good. Nene ain't, ain't good. Like, we ain't good. We ain't good to to Cynthia tell her what the hell she was and why she didn't come. Then we'll be good. We'll just say, okay, you henpecked. Your man told you not to come. That's what it was. He told you, demanded you not, and you followed suit and didn't show up. Girl, please. Bye. She said she might be dinner or whatever i was like okay you know i can sip with my old friend and have a cocktail and a crab cake i can do this you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying yeah. and this is just it was positive yeah and then when this happened it was like okay so i've pretty much decided after this interview i'm just the one thing i, on, I on know about nini nini she's a good person i just think like i said it's right now it's a stage of grief right and she'll come back she'll yeah. come back around what well, so we're gonna keep her in prayer we're gonna keep her, we're in, gonna prayer. Keep her in prayer y'all we've got more now we need to keep you in prayer too cynthia because you're talking out the side of your neck first you saying it wasn't about nini it was about greg then why weren't you there at greg's celebration of life party evidently you got an invitation okay because you still ain't said you didn't get an invitation so you got an invitation so if it was all about Greg and it was you know to make sure Greg felt the love you know if it's a such thing as somebody after they die they leave this plane of existence still know what's going on then uh I'm pretty sure he would say I needed you to be there for Nene at this time put all your feelings aside or what you feel or how you felt she's dealt with you thus far this day on this day let's just come together and let's celebrate my home going okay that would have been simple cynthia you talking about some doggone flowers hell that we we forget the flowers okay we needed you to have a a a, 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 a train ticket a plane ticket or you got in your automobile and you drove down here that's what we needed you to do because everybody else okay kenya Portia, they were out the state okay they knew they got their invitations or whatnot however they got their invitations especially when both of them was out the state uh why did they get back why did they say i'm gonna throw everything down and we're gonna pick it up after i go deal with the situation okay because maybe half of them didn't want to be there but they didn't want to be scrutinized either after the fact and see that's what where we where you at now where you reside at this point where you're going to reside until nene wants to press up off the gas on your neck but right now she got it on your neck 
pressed down firmly and she's driving at least 70 miles per hour on your behind okay so it's not something you're going to run away from not as long as nene have breath in her body and she has a platform to speak her mind she is going to dog you from now into eternity okay because she's probably wanting to know or she's probably wanting you to spill the beans on what kept you. Why did you not show? And I guess if you told everybody that, then she'll get off the gas. And then we'll really see what you were actually made of. Because one moment, you call her your old friend, uh, dear friend. I mean, what is she? Is she your enemy now? Because you said you're no longer friends. So that means if anything happened to Nini's children or any other bad thing happens, you know, around Nini's way of a dwelling, that means you're not going to speak on it. Because we don't want you to speak on it. Because if you don't serve the friendship, just let it be. Let sleeping dogs lie. Let her grieve. Let her go through her, her whatever she got to do. And you don't do no more press. Because the more you talk about this situation, the more you keep digging a bigger hole for yourself. And it's not looking pretty. It's not looking pretty on my book. It's not, Cynthia. It's not. That's why I said, just keep it at Housewives. And when they want to swing the questions towards you, uh, you expressing what you feel about Nene or uh, where y'all at, just say no comment. What they going to do? They going to uh, badger you about continuing on with that line of questioning? No, you just say no comment. I mean, can your husband help you with interview questions? All right. Something to that. Because you're not a housewife anymore. Your peach being yanked from you. You pretty much can stay and do whatever you feel. If you don't want to respond to a question, a housewife question, damn, you don't have to. Because you're not on a contract. You don't have to. I wouldn't speak badly about the franchise if you plan on wanting to ease back in if there was an opening or slot or whatnot. But just stay away from the questions that they may pose to you about Nene. That's all. Because that's the best weapon you can have is when you don't give them no play. What are they going to do? You can talk about anything else on the side, any other castmate. But when it comes to Nene, we're not going there. You wish her well. Hopefully she wish you well. And that's it. But y'all y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all about about Miss Cynthia going around here still putting whoo charcoals on the fire. When we don't cook everything and we just want it to die out. She just keep coming from everywhere and nowhere. Putting her two cents in. I mean, come on. We ain't gonna get on Nene because she grieving now after a year. We give us six months to a year to grieve, okay? Or at least to be lashing out at folks. After that time, we're going to hold her accountable again. Because, you know, grief is, it, you know, it's, you can't put a, 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 a time limit on grieving. She may grieve the rest of her life about Greg in her own little way. But treating people, you know, maliciously, you know, going around talking about people bad. Like, no, we kind of like give that up after a year's time. Because you have, you should have no more malice. You should have no more upsetting feelings. Everything should have resolved itself. At least you have made peace with this situation. Okay? But, oh, I'm just too fit to be tired. I am done with this video. I did what I could. I just had to express myself on Cynthia just need to hush. She don't have a peach no more. She says she's no, not, no longer friends with Nene. Then keep it kosher. Say nothing. Do nothing when it comes to Nene. Pay her no mind. Okay? Unless you're going to like make up with the kiss and make up. And then y'all going to go from wherever y'all want to dwell with one another. Okay? Because personally, I think it's silly. Um, it's silly if you got mad and you were playing her tit for tat because she didn't come to your wedding. That was sil silly, especially when you put it up against a funeral. Okay? And it was silly for Nene not to come to your wedding. You know, it, she probably didn't have nothing to do. She just was in her own feelings. But you know Nene. You know how she's made up. You know how she's built. And you know the way she thinks. So when you mess with a person like that, you knew that, okay, this is just how she at whatever. Okay? 
whenever okay but you got mike in the back trying to tell you you shouldn't let her treat you that way she don't care nothing about you if it were me i wouldn't go i forbid you to go and you probably listen to him instead of looking at him like are you done okay well i'm sure you have some colleagues or comrades in your camp in the commentary world in the sports world that you don't necessarily get along with but if they pass you will be there because it's just the um what do you call it the ultimate front that you have the united front that you have to have it's a lot of people go to a lot of different things that they care not to go to but they feel it's the best thing for them if they're going to be in that arena of sports casting it would be shamed or looked frowned upon for you not to go and that's the stance you should have took cynthia when it came to going to greg lee's home going and nothing gonna change about that everybody's gonna be uh biased on that situation because you should have been there that's the point point period okay and that's all i got for this video guys if y'all like it love gotta have more don't hesitate but to uh definitely share 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 my stuff y'all share my videos okay share them till you can't do it no more okay and like my videos and i will see y'all next time good night